Hey guys, I got a little building project going on today and I'm going to take you along for it. Um, what I'm doing is I am going to be taking and moving around my storage areas. So I've got stuff just stacked up everywhere out here. Okay, so as you enter the cabin, this is where I normally have all my tools and supplies and whatnot. Well, that area is way too small and I have a heck of a lot more tools and supplies and there's just not enough room there. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn my storage room, which is right here. Sorry for the light differential, guys. But I'm going to turn this room right here into my new uh, workshop. This is where I'm going to store all my tools. So first things first, I've got to um, rip these bunk beds out of here. I'm going to pull that, that 1970s uh, sheathing off the wall there. And I'm going to go ahead and build a large bench that goes from there all the way over to here. Um, basically, I'm just switching out my tool shed from one side of the cabin to the other. I've got more wall space and more room in here. And what I need to do is I have to get all of this stuff right here. And all of that stuff out there into this little room right here. So, I think if I build it right, I can do it no problem. So, sorry for turning you guys so fast, but here's also a whole bunch of other supplies that I had shipped up here. Um, just a little bit of everything, guys. So all of this stuff has to fit inside that room right there. Now, what I will be doing is turning this area right here. I'm gonna build shelves floor to ceiling right here for all of our food food storage and stuff like paper plates and just all the stuff just food this is the food section that it's going to be so all right so if you guys feel like coming along with me on this journey come on i'll take you along as i can i'm not the best filmer in the world but we'll see what happens so nothing out here is flat i don't have a smooth surface to work on except for my freight sled. So I'm gonna be putting my uh, my OSB and my um, plywood sheathing on there and doing all my cuts. So hopefully I can get this for you guys. Uh, if you'll come along with me, let's see what we got. All right, I'm gonna check back in with you. All right guys, let's see what we got. Much better. Sorry if I'm filling straight in here. So, this is my new tool room. So now I gotta start pulling some measurements. Or as a matter of fact, I think I'm gonna start getting this stuff off the wall right here. Cause it will do, it, it serves no purpose. And it's expensive, I wanna reuse it. Gotta get my pencil. So, your standard sheet of OSB or plywood sheathing is four by eight. What we have in here Eight feet is gonna to go to right there. So, question is, is how far do I want it off the wall? Thinking a two foot work surface. Just go ahead and rip it in half. That seems about right. Two feet would put me to here if I decide to build one there. What I don't know is if I wanna rip that paneling down. I don't know where the studs are behind it. So, okay. So, 
Let's go in here and double check our numbers one more time. I got everything ripped out. Well, not everything. You'll see. Okay, so I took off. Sorry for the light, guys. I know it's horrible. But I just took off that back wall. I did not build this cabin, so I did not know how he built it. And it looks like it is 16 on center. So I still need to be able to tap into these studs later on. That's why I went ahead and pulled off this paneling. I'm going to leave that one on right there because I know for a fact that I can go 16 on center and find my studs. I can also see where he nailed as well. So that panel will be left on. The rest will not. Okay, so moving on. I think I want it, I want my bench to be two feet. The average length of a tote that I have is 29 inches. So would 29 inches be too much workspace? Yes, and to reach stuff up on the wall. So this is going down to two feet. Not to mention, it's just a heck of a lot easier to rip a 4x8 into 2 feet. 4 feet, exactly. So, let's come in to 2 feet. Right there. two feet right there guys this is rough construction too okay so if any of you are judging this as far as um this is not bob vila's workshop that's what i'm trying to say here So no, this is not Bob Vila's workshop, guys. Let's double check. Out here, when you make a mistake, you can't run back to Home Depot. Okay, there's my work surface. Now all I gotta do is bang it together. This is what I get to look at, guys. <laughs> Beautiful day today, man. Beautiful day. Okay guys, it's about time to start measuring the legs here, and because I'm a short guy, I don't want the table top too high. I'd kind of rather be working low, so I'm going to measure the uh, the 4x4s out at 32 inches. So when you see me installing this low table, please don't comment and say, hey, why did you build the table so small? It's because I'm 5'6", that's why, and I like to have a, I have a comfortable work surface right in front of me. So 
I'll show you guys that here in a little bit. I've got the uh, tabletop in there all taken care of. Once I cut the legs, I'll go install those, and then I'll flip it up, and then I'll show you guys what's coming up next. Okay, guys, just finished up the table in here. Once again, the, the, uh, the, the window up there may put enough light in here. I'm sorry for that, but so here we go. So I'll come in here. So it's functional, guys. This is not Bob Vila's workshop. What this is, is bushcraft makes something that's functional, that lasts. So, that's what I've got so far. Now what I'm thinking about doing is making another one right over there. Right in there. So, I will uh, let you know if I do that. Right now I've got the stove cranked up. It's 15 degrees outside, it's 88 degrees in here. So I had to open up the front door, let heat out. Boy, I never thought I'd hear that in Alaska, right? All right, guys, let me get back to work and I'll bring you along. So, Alright everybody, so this uh, video right here is going to be a follow-up. It's two days later after I had started building out my uh, tool shed in here. I had switched it over from where it was into this little room over here. I believe there was an intro video somewhere in there. I'll try to piece these two together. But this is actually a couple days later. It has taken me a lot of work to do this guy, so I'm completely sorry about that. It's just I didn't want to take you through the whole process of everything I had to do. But I will take you in there right now and give you an idea of everything that I've had to do so far. So let me bring a light, because it is a little dark in there, but I'm going to fix that. You'll see. Okay, so... Okay, here we go, guys. So as soon as you walk in the cabin, it's now to the left side. So I've got... Majority of all my tools hanging up there. All my supplies and whatnot on the wall. Hinges, just all the things that I'm going to need later. Generator oil down there, a couple bottle jacks. Now, here's my uh, tool wall, or what I call the tool wall. And I've got everything hanging up on those uh, magnetic strips. Just really makes it a lot easier to find everything when you're using stuff. Just go right back up there and slap it on and it's good to go. So there's all my brand new chainsaw bars. And basically guys, I've just got um, supplies up here. And so I'll go ahead and take you this way. Um, underneath, I got a storage. I built that uh, workbench just the other day. Threw it together pretty quick. It took me about an hour and a half, I think. That's not pretty quick, but threw it together. This room is now completely functional. I've got everything standing in, in the bottom here. I've got all my gasoline, my still, just all my lubricants. Everything in there. Now right here on the desk, I've got all these nuts and bolts, these lag screws. So I've got some bins over there with a whole bunch of nails in them. All my gloves. There's a real cheap um, drill set. They're pretty good for one or two uses, then they're garbage. That's the Ryobi stuff. So up here, I got all my oils, my little uh, just things I'm going to need. Take care of machines. Spark plug tray right there with about 25 different spark plugs in it. Sorry, let me get away from the window, guys. So everything's just kind of packed in here. Those are my uh, mounting plates. And then all this, all these bins over here. Okay. In that box right there is 28 pounds, or 32 pounds, I believe, of just little nuts and bolts 
and I mean you name it guys it's just packed there's 28 pounds of that stuff and what's where that's gonna go is that's gonna go into all these little bins right here and then I've got my uh, Robert Sorby chisels up here timber framing slick right there there's a two inch there's a one and a half and then I got my uh, saws right there and guys just basically everything I'm gonna need for when I'm up here you know just take it easy if something breaks at least I've got a nut or a bolt to fix it or the tool to grab and take care of it so I've spent a number of years hauling stuff up here and that's the result of all that's the result of it so it just takes a little bit at a time and before you know it you've got more than you know what to do with and you don't have enough space for it so that was the purpose of me building out that little room all right guys if you like these videos like subscribe questions and comments would love to hear them i uh, would love to hear from you guys just shoot me some questions anytime so take care of each other keep your boots dry and best of luck to you guys have a good day